It's August 2023. Autonomous vehicle companies Cruise and Waymo achieved a big landmark when it comes to robotaxi deployments in the US. Up until now, driverless taxi vehicles have been operating in San Francisco, California with a lot of restrictions. For the most part, they were only allowed to charge fares when they had a human safety driver present in the vehicle. But on Thursday, August 10th, 2023, the California Public Utilities Commission held a vote to determine if a lot of these restrictions should be eliminated. With a vote of three to one, in favor of expanding the autonomous vehicle permit, they granted Cruise and Waymo the ability to charge fares without a human safety driver present for all times of the day. This means that San Francisco will be the first city in the world to have two companies offering paid taxi services with fully autonomous vehicles. Since the vote, so much has happened after they've been offering this expanded service. I'm going to talk about the good and the bad and if this is a sign of how other deployments will be for other cities all over the US. Leading up to the event, you could feel the tensions rise because everyone knows that autonomous vehicles or AVs have the potential to dramatically change the transportation landscape. News media from around the world was here to cover the and a lot of people showed up in person to show their support or opposition. Since robotaxis have been operating here in San Francisco for a while, a lot of people already have had experiences interacting with them. People who oppose the further deployment of AVs have a lot of concerns, including believing that they will not be safer than human drivers, that they will increase congestion, and that they will also cause people to lose jobs. On the other hand, people who support them believe that they can lead to safer streets, increased mobility, especially for people who can't drive, lesser demand for parking, and just an overall more convenient and comfortable driving experience. Now before you start preparing for a robotaxi future, the story doesn't end here. So what happened after the vote? Even though this was a major win for both companies, right after getting the approval, cruise vehicles had issues. Just one day after the vote, cruise vehicles were found stalled in an area near a major event. What happened, Cruise explained, was the Outside Lands Music Festival affected the available bandwidth, which caused the cruise vehicles to have delayed connectivity. Although it didn't cause any collisions, it was a major inconvenience for all those involved. It's kind of worrisome, right? I would hope that if I was in a driverless car that it would not experience the same kind of problems that I can experience experience on my phone. Then on August 17th, just a week later, a cruise vehicle made an unprotected left turn on a green light and collided with a fire truck on an oncoming lane that was responding to an emergency event with its sirens on. Fortunately, no major injuries were reported so far. On social media, there's also been many other reported incidents of issues or cruise vehicles getting stuck in traffic. But to me, the most concerning ones are the ones when they are impeding emergency responders. Meanwhile, Waymo is quietly sitting in the corner, probably glad that they aren't in the news. So what does this mean for other cities? We already know that these companies are planning to expand to many of them. Cruise is already deployed in San Francisco, Austin, and Phoenix with plans to expand to 14 other cities. While Waymo is already deployed in San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Phoenix and is planning to expand to Austin. And I'm not talking about the other companies that are testing and deploying like Amazon, Zooks, or Nvidia. But what is happening in San Francisco is likely a sign of what's to come for the time being. The deployment of autonomous taxis will continue to have issues and growing pains. They will make incremental improvements over time, but also the debate will get louder because the reality is people still are not comfortable with replacing a human driver. And that's very understandable because it takes time to build that trust. As for me, I have a mix of different opinions about what is going on. Right now, the debate is all over the place. You even have people putting traffic cones on these cars in order to stop and protest them. And while it's good for people to point out all the mishaps that are happening, because let's face it, these companies do need to hear that feedback, we should also focus a lot more attention on what should be the main safety goal. Collisions that result in serious injuries and fatalities. The reduction of serious injuries and fatalities is a core focus in the transportation industry today. This can be seen in the many efforts that you may have heard of, like Vision Zero. Vision Zero. Vision Zero. Vision Zero. Vision Zero. Traffic safety plan that aims to drop traffic deaths and injuries down to zero. Vision Zero is a change in strategy where where governments are now attempting to reduce all traffic deaths by changing the way we design our roads and anticipating that human beings do make mistakes while they're driving. One of the core tenets in the Vision Zero philosophy is that collisions that result in property damage or minor injuries should be less emphasized and more focus should be put on collisions that have resulted in 
serious injuries or fatalities. San Francisco has its own Vision Zero commitment and policy, as well as many other cities all over the US. If there's any benefits we have to get from autonomous vehicles, it has to be through improved safety by reducing major collisions. With over 42,000 people dying on US roads in 2022, this has to be the main focus of the debate and what I'm going to continue watching for. Have you had any experiences riding in an autonomous robot taxi? Do you believe that autonomous vehicles can improve road safety? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this discussion. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.